Today I want to show you how to stream video or audio to Zoom without it being terrible. Everybody knows that you cannot share a YouTube video through Zoom or any other files that involve moving pixels, right? And a lot of people ask me how, how am I able to stream uh, a perfect video file through Zoom? And I do that by using a capture card. And this is a little device or a capture card. And essentially what it does is accepts a HDMI signal and then it sends it to your computer and the computer sees that as a webcam. So when you're on Zoom, you can actually, actually select your web camera or this device as your input video device. And something like this costs around $130. I'm gonna show you here from the b &H website. You can also get this on Best Buy or, or Walmart or Amazon. And we also have one that is called the Camlink 4K. You might've seen this one before. It gives you one HDMI in and this is the one I have. It also gives me one HDMI in because you can do multiple if you have another capture card. But this is something that's very affordable and really simple to use. So let me go back here to my Zoom call and I'm gonna show you how to install this. It's really simple, it's plug and play. You're gonna need an HDMI cord, right? And this device comes with a USB that you can plug and play into your computer. So there's no installation involved. You plug it in and then the other side is the USB that goes into my computer. My computer will recognize this. It's gonna pick that up. Now we want to plug in our HDMI. Okay, so the HDMI goes into the HDMI in in the back. Now for the magic, right? For you to stream a video or an audio file or video with audio, right? You need a separate device. So with this device, I have an HDMI out, which is right here. I want to plug that in there and that's going to send a signal into my capture card if I can plug this in with one hand okay now I have my video ready going into my capture card so let's start a zoom call when you're in the zoom call see I already have that video linked into my zoom so if I were to share this or invite people in this is what they will see so I'm playing this video from YouTube and it's a perfect stream. As you can see here, that nothing's freezing up. You know, there is a slow motion, exactly what we want to see right now. And they can also hear this in the call. So I don't know if you can see this, but there is a little microphone showing me that there is volume going in here. So let's say you want to show a file in your computer. You have a video that you made and you want to show it. It's not, this is YouTube right now. It works for a file as well. Just open the file up and make it full screen. So it can be a clean signal of the video. Now, if you want to go back to yourself, to your webcam, you're going to have to go to the option here for video and switch it back to your webcam. Right now, my webcam is disconnected. It's actually not going to show anything right now because I don't have it plugged in. So we switch between the two to talk to your audience. Once you're ready to show them the video, go to your capture card. Once you're ready to talk in front of the audience, go back to your webcam. And then there's one more piece to this. For them to hear the audio from the video, you're gonna to have to switch the audio input here to the capture card. Because if you have it on your microphone, your default microphone, they're gonna hear your microphone right here and not the video. If I'm talking to my audience, hey, check out this video that I'm gonna show you. Give me one second while I'll set it up. Now go ahead and play your video and then switch over your audio. So when you play the video from your separate device, they will now hear and see the video being played. I hope you found this quick tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know.